and evening head shave with the Mercure Futur coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and what's everywhere? everywhere. It's BarbaraGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for sharing your time with me. Great to see you again. Really appreciate you stopping by. Hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, we're going to have an evening head shave with a razor. I don't think I've ever done a head shave on camera with this razor. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever done a head shave with this razor, period. The Mercur Futur Adjustable Razor. And uh, this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful adjustable razor. Beautifully chromed, beautiful weight. Uh, kind of has space age styling, that kind of thing. I think that's why they call it the Futur future, that sort of thing, just a guess on my part. So we're going to have a shave with this. Now, this can be rather aggressive for me at the higher levels. It uh, adjusts from about one to six, six and a half, something like that. And I usually use this for a face shave at about level three and then adjust downward for each additional pass. I'm going to start this head shave at about level two, and that's where I'm at right now, level two. Okay, the razor blade we're going to be using is the um, Wizameth Super Iridium. So let's go ahead and load the, uh, the razor right now. Uh, also, another helpful tip that I got from a viewer was, he happened to see a recent video I did with the Futur and said, nah, you know, I don't think you're loading it correctly. You shouldn't load it by, you should not load it by uh, removing the cap. Let me show you. Let me just get this off here like this. He was telling me that uh, I should not place the blade here and then put the cap on top like this. Don't do that. He, he was telling me that I should put the blade in the cap and then, you know, like this and insert the handle on it. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do it that way. Okay, there's the handle right there. And here is the, uh, here's the cap. Cap's going to go right there. And I'm going to take the blade. I'm going to put the blade right in there like that. Just place that in there like that. And then I'm going to just drop this on there like that. And I think that is probably a better way of doing it. All right, alignment and balance on the Futur. Just spectacular, wonderful. And as you can see, the end tabs are enclosed. And we have it at, let's see here, level two. We're adjusting at level two. All right, the soap we're going to be using is Blue Sawwen from Phoenix Shaving. Ah, <laughs> looking forward to this. Absolutely love this scent. I'm going to kick it off, obviously, with the Blue Sawwen Cube right here. Going to finish it off with uh, an Allen Block dry dock, you know, Allen Block, the no slip grip of the dry dock system, and also uh, the Blue Sawwen uh, aftershave and cologne, and also some of the star jelly from upstairs from upstairs for upstairs. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh yeah, my, my brush is going to be the brand new Star Wisp from Phoenix Shaving. Boy, this is a terrific brush. It's soaking right there. Of course, I'm going to use my brush scuttle. You know what? I'm going to just, uh, let me just wet the head right now and uh, just kind of use some of the cube to kind of lay down a, a nice slick base and we'll lather on top of that. We'll get the shave going. So let's wet the head and let's get to the shave. Couple of splashes to get going now. If you can see, I probably you can see I got a pretty good amount of hair growth there. I got a, probably about a good two and a half, three days worth of growth, and uh, I've just been waiting to kind of use this um, Futur, uh, and I wanted to have a little bit of growth there that would uh, kind of give it a good good run for the money, so to speak. Okay, so that's that's got that in place. Got some hot water on top of the uh, soap. Let's dump that in there. Boy, that's a terrific scent. That's a beautiful, beautiful scent. There's my brush right there. We're going to go ahead and load that up. And uh, really, these, these, this is in Formula CK6 right there. You can see that. 
Boy, these load up very, very quickly. Look how much I've got on there already. So here we go. I mean, that's it. That's all you need to do. Love the handle on this brush. Just really offers a good grip. Now, I'm going to contrast that with the handle on the, uh, the Curve Futur because it's very slick. You know, it's a smooth chromed handle and uh, beautifully chromed, but we'll see how that handles with... Um, We'll see how that handles if when my hands get slick. I might have to wipe off my hands or use the Allen block trick, that sort of thing. A little more water here. As I say, I can't recall doing a head shave with the Mercure Futur. I could be wrong. I mean, I have to look, I'm, I have to go through my videos. I don't recall it. I, I, it could be that I did do a head shave with it. I don't know. I can't recall. It just seems to me that... If I did a head shave with it, I, I should have remembered, but you know what? I've done a lot of head shaves with a lot of different razors, and uh, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just misremembering, but I don't think I've ever done a head shave on camera with the McCurr Tour. Okay, that's got it. That's a terrific, terrific lather. Look at that. You know what? I think <laughs> I think it's safe to say you can just... You could pump a little bit like this, get a little bit of air, and really build a ladder like that with the brush when you're doing that. You know, and just look at how much just it lays on there. I guess you could say, boom, lather. Look at that. I mean, that really is a beautiful protective coat. Beautiful protective uh, coating of lather. So, okay, this is going to go into the brush. Got plenty of lather on the knot. Going to heat this under some hot, hot, hot water. Again, I'm at level two. Okay, I'm going to try to rock it back and forth there so you can see it. So you can see it so the lighting doesn't wash it out too much because it is etched into the chrome, a little difficult to see. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Yeah, you know what? That is a really good starting point for a head shave for me. That is very, very efficient. I like to go a little milder with my uh, razors for a head shave. As a matter of fact, I might even turn this down a little bit when I get to the top where things get a little thinner. Boy, I tell you what, that is really nicely efficient. Wow. Wow, that is terrific. Now I'm going by feel here, and I can tell you that there's a lot of nice blade feel there, but it's very, very smooth. Wow, that's terrific, that really is. And the other thing that's very, very good, and I'll show you that in just a minute here, is that the uh, cream just kind of moves right out of the way there. But this has been, uh, wow, this is terrific. Very easy to find the angle to get the blade feel. Okay, so let's, okay, so let's go ahead. Now, so far the grip has been pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. I am going to, uh, I'm going to turn this down a little bit here. I'm going to go down to about, about one. Just a little, between one and one and a half is where I'm going with this because I'm going up here and I can feel it. That blade is pretty darn efficient and I think yeah this is definitely the better move here to dial it down a little bit yeah this can be this can be an aggressive razor for me this is a good move right here very very good move now let me just take another swipe here right about here now and I get a little more hair growth there, so I'm going to dial it up, back up to two. Okay. And we're going to finish this off right here at two because of the considerable more, because of, because there's considerably more hair growth there that has to be knocked down. Again, you're taking it down in stages. You don't want to uh, get it all in one fell swoop. All right, let's add a little bit of water. Let's kind of rinse, add a little water, and kind of gauge where we're at.
you know, not bad, not bad. Maybe I could have turned it up to two and a half um, on that for this first pass, but it's still really very good. I think leaving it at say uh, well two one and a half here for the second pass is probably a good idea. So I might dial it down just a little bit. Maybe about one and a half, one and three quarters, because it is a continuous adjustment. It doesn't click, you know, one, two, three, four. You can adjust it to one, one and a quarter, one and a half, two, two and three quarters, that sort of thing. And again, wow, this lather is just, this, I love CK6. I really, really do. This stuff is just fantastic. All right, so um, let me just wipe my hands off a little bit here, make sure... They're good and dry. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead. I am going to turn this down to about one and a half. One and a half. That's where I'm going to go. And I'm going to go from back to front here. Yeah, that's. I can feel that I'm picking up a lot of uh, lot of hair growth, you know, knocking it down a little more. And this is a nice, smooth, mild, yet efficient setting for me. And again, probably better that I'm on the milder side when I go up top here. I've had the experience of using an adjustable razor that I've turned up too high and I've given myself a pretty good nick up here because it's just too much blade exposure for me. That's why I'm turning it down. It's going to shave it, you know, and what, how much is up there? A little a few stragglers, that's all that's up there. It's not that there's like a lot of, not there, it's not like there's a lot of hair growth up there. So we're just going to, okay. Okay, so what I like to do now is, let me, just, let me just throw some water up there. Okay, that's really good. That second pass really got things. Now, I got to get a little bit here and then maybe a little bit over here. You know, I got to do some touch up. So what I like to do is I like to get the ladder right off of the knot like that. Okay, and I like to just to... Uh, Grab my razor here. I'm going to leave it at one and a half, and I'm just going to just move this lather around with my hand. That way, I can feel where the high spots are, and just you know smooth things out a little bit. It's a method that works for me, and I. I I kind of stumbled on it, really. I mean, this is kind of this is kind of how my head shave evolved. Okay, right over here. Let me just rinse that off. Right here by the ears here. Now, a lot of wet shavers think that this razor head on the Futur is a little bit cumbersome, a little overly large. Uh, I find it to be fine. I like it. I like it a lot. Maybe get the back of my neck there a little more. Okay. Then maybe a little bit right over here. Again, you can probably see a lot of cream on the bottom there, but, you know, the blade is clear. That's kind of neat, isn't it? Really seems to just kind of plow through the lather and move it out of the way. Boy, that's nice. That's got it. And that was, like I say, two and a half, three days worth of hair growth up there. 
Knocked down in two passes and some touch up. All right, that's got it. I'm gonna rinse. Let me drain some of this water out of here. I'm gonna rinse and uh, we're gonna do a warm water rinse, cold water rinse. Here's my warm water rinse. Okay, yeah, that's a nice, smooth result. That's very, very good. And uh, we're gonna flip it over to the cold water side here. And I know it's running down here, I apologize. <laughs> the nature of doing a head shave like this. Uh, okay, that's the cold water. We're gonna, that's cold water going now. We're gonna do a cold water rinse to close the pores up there. Okay, cold water rinse. Uh. Okay, that's got it. A few splashes, yeah. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Terrific, terrific head shave. Really, really, just really nice. Really a nice, smooth result. I love doing head shaves with a safety razor. I get such a nice result. I've used carts. Uh, the Omni Shaver is very good, very quick. If you're a pinch for time, that's a good system. It just seems that safety razor, just like doing a fa face shave, uh, a head shave with a safety razor, you just, I just get a closer result. I, I get a closer result and it stays smoother longer for me. Okay, wow, that's, that's really nice. That is terrific. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get my Allen block here. No slip grip. Dry dock system from Phoenix Shaving. And we're going to run this under some cold water. And I'm going to run it over the surface of my head here that's just been cleanly shaved and see what kind of feedback we get. We get any zinging, any stinging, anything like that. Allen block is part of my post shave routine for head shaves and face shaves. No stinging, no zinging, maybe a little zing in the back there, maybe. And maybe a little zing over here. But that's it. That's terrific. All right. Dry dock system like that, just drop it in, let the air in the room do the rest of the job in drying out that Allen block. Here, let's get a look at the, uh, I took some, I took some of that lather out of there. But even then, you can just see what little bit I have left here. Just really nice peaks. Okay, just it's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shape. So love it. So we're gonna just put a little bit of the uh, aftershave and cologne up there, just a little bit, just to see if we get any any more bracing, uh, that sort of thing. So here it is, right here. But we're gonna really follow up with the star jelly, uh, and uh, really kind of add that. So just a little bit of this, just a little bit. Oh, I love this scent. I absolutely love it. If you haven't tried this, hopefully it's still available. It is terrific. It was, a, it was an autumn offering, and it's, it's great. Okay, here we go with the um, Star Jelly. About that much there is all I'm going to need. Okay. That's nice, quickly absorbs, and just a great scent. That's marvelous. Great shave, really, really wonderful head shave. This was terrific. Very, very surprising, as Mercur from Tour is a wonderful razor. Uh, I like uh, I like this. Now, the only downside for me is I can only use it at say one, two, and three. That's about it, and everywhere in between because it is a smooth, adjustable razor. But if, you have, if your beard uh, is a little more demanding than mine, well, just know that you have uh, other levels there to really uh, tackle it. Uh, for me, three and under is perfect. 
two and under was fine, uh, really good for this head shape. I think three, level three with the Mercur, with the Mercur from Tour probably would have been a little too aggressive. I'm glad I dialed it down to about one and a half or so when I got up to the upper part of my, my dome here where the skin gets a little thinner and it's a little more prone to nicking. This really did handle well. The, uh, the Wisdom at uh, Razor Blade, boy, uh, these are great. The uh, Super Iridium uh, Razor Blades, boy, these are wonderful. And of course, you know what, I mean, kudos to CK6. This, uh, this is great, great shaving soap. Love Formula CK6, beautiful glide, beautiful cushion, uh, great slickness. I just I really, really made for a great shave, and this has got fantastic, fantastic scent. And that really is the key for me, for anybody doing a head shave. Slickness, slickness, slickness. You want a really, really good slick surface, so you know the blade doesn't catch, obviously. Uh, but yeah, that was great. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Fantastic. I will use this again, and again with adjustable razors as long as I keep it to the mild side. I'm good. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog. For my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this, I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Arsene Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out VikingsBlade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.